Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Everything Business. Thank you for joining. For those of you, if it's your first time, thank you for coming. And for those of you who continue to come, um, thank you for coming back. Today, we are going to be, we are going to be talking about stock valuation, um, which is one of the topics that CXC will test this year. So, just pay attention. I have a good friend, Miss Dunkley, who will be facilitating you with this topic. So, pay attention, stay tuned. Wow. <laughs>
Okay? Now, we move on. So, where will you have to be checking now, you know? If, within January, if there were any stuff issued, we have the receipt. Was there any issue? None was issued. So we have the balance. We move on. So now we have May, May to next month in line. So in May, what happened in May? 10 items were received at $33 each. Again, none was sold. So what do we have with? We have this and we have this thing. Okay. At $33. Ten times thirty-three. Alright, so you keep checking. So you're good. each time you're checking, receive issued because it must be done in historical order or chronological order okay so you cannot record may before january it must be historical so so may and we have june in june six items were sold for 45 dollars each all right, so follow me carefully now. There was none received here. However, six were sold. Six items at $45 each. Now, when you're valuing your stock, when you're valuing your stock, the cost, the, the cost price is the price that you focus on. The sales price is not important right when you're valuing your stock. Unless the question you're doing asks you to calculate the amount of sales, right? But for knowing calculating just the value, you pay attention to the cost price because stock, your assets are valued at cost price. All right, so if you notice, I just went ahead and I recorded six items here because I know that the first set of items I received were 20. We can easily get six out of it, right? So because we're focusing on the people method, we will have to value our stock using the first set of items received first, right? So whatever cost it was received at, that's the cost you will issue it. Okay? However, you have to record the sale price of the item. Okay? So how do we record the amount remaining in stock now? So we will take the six items from 20, because 20 is what we received first. So six from 20. So we have 14 items remaining at the cost price, $30 each, okay? So to be on the safe side, um, you could draw a line to separate draw a line to separate this because you don't want to get confused when you want to find the value of the stock. Okay? So how much do we have left here? Um, 14 times 30, $420. Good? Follow me. You still have this. You still have this amount. So to be on the safe side, bring it down here. Okay? So you still have 10 at $33 each, right? $330. We could, we could have a second column, you know, to put the total here, right? The remaining total are balance. 
yes, it would be easier for you. So it would easily total this up without there. But that's okay. All right, so that would complete. At this time, this would complete the, the balance here as at June. So we proceed. July. In July, all right, so you have to come down. Here, in July, 16 items were purchased at $38.50 each. So, 16 items at $38.50 each. Yes? Were there any sold in this month? But paying attention to the question, there was none. What do we have now? We have this, we have this, and we have this. But as I said, to be on the safe side, bring them down. Okay? So in July, we have 14 at $30 each. We have 10 at $33 each and we have 16 at $38.50 each. Good? So what's the value of our stock? If you notice each time we are calculating the value. So we have 420, we have 330, sorry, and we have Six hundred and sixteen dollars. We can put them. We have a, a line there ready to separate. So we could total that. Okay. Alright, July. August. In August, 22 items were issued at $46 each. So August. None was purchased, but how much now? 22, pay attention now. Follow me carefully here. You cannot just go ahead and issue 22 items, right? Because we are looking at the first in first out method. The first set that came in, you don't have 22, right? So what do you have? You have 14 at $30 each, right? So none is remaining in this set, okay? Um, so you see the 14. Then you have 10 here. So 14 from 22, how many are left? 14 from 22, so that's eight items at, follow me, $33 each. Okay? How much are left here? You took. How many did we take from here? Eight. Oh, we took eight, right? So we have two at each and we have 16 right so this is six, six and this is six one six okay I'm going to separate them
Was the valley of your stock on August or for the month of August? So if it goes down that, that's the valley of your stock. Alright. So August, there was none in September, but in October, they purchased again. Twelve were purchased at thirty-nine dollars. There were no sales. So we have two at thirty-three each, sixteen at Thank you. 